So what's the difference between a $100 per month book and a $1,000 per month book? If it's in a good niche, then you can change just a few things and you can get it to 1,000. As long as you know what to change and how to change it, then you can easily get to 1,000. I work with people that were publishing $100 per month books, and I also work with people that were publishing $1,000 a month books. I even work with people that were publishing $3,000 per month books from one book. And when I was helping this client, I helped them with their ads, and these guys were spending $100,000 on ads, only on ads. The profit they were making was much more than what they spent on the ads. But anyway, what was the difference between that book and the book that was making $100? dollars per month let's call the $1,000 per month book the good book and the $100 book the bad book let me just write here good and bad so the good book one of the reasons it was so successful is because people were willing to buy it now what do I mean by this it had a lot of people willing to buy it which means that that niche had demand and it had a lot of demand think about it like this if you had to carry five liters of water and all you brought with you is a one liter can or a jug or whatever. If this can only fit one liter, then it's impossible for you to get five liters of water. So the $100 book was published in a niche where it could only afford one liter of water. But the good book was published in a niche with a lot of demand and that demand allowed it to collect five liters of water. There was enough demand in the niche to actually have enough customers to sell to. Because if you have enough customers to sell to, you have enough people giving you money that can help you reach this goal. So having demand in the niche is so, so important because it means that enough people want to buy. Now, if there's enough people wanting to buy your book, then the next step is that you have to create a book that people actually want to buy. So you need to create a high quality book. I'm gonna explain exactly what this means right now. So the first thing people are gonna do is they're gonna search for your book. Let's say we're doing a pregnancy book. So some pregnancy books are selling thousands a month. So we know that there's enough people willing to buy our book. Now it's up to us to create a quality pregnancy book because we have to give these people that are looking for a pregnancy book something that's gonna make it very hard for them not to buy. The only way you can do that is with quality. If you have a mediocre book, it's very easy for someone to pick something else. If you have a really high quality book, it's very hard to pick the lower quality ones. So that means the first thing you have to do is actually make a good book cover. What makes a good book cover? Well, there's two things. There's knowing your customer, because if you understand who your customer is, then you know what they like. And if you know what they like, you can put that in the cover. Is there a certain color that they like? For example, if you're making a book cover for a football team or a basketball team or a hockey team, then that team might have their colors. Now, if you know your customer, then you can see the team that they support and then you can see the colors that are associated with that team. And you can put them on your book cover because that's gonna resonate with people. You're creating a book cover that they want to buy or in our case, they want to click because that's what we're trying to do with the book cover. We're trying to get them to click on our book because that's the first step that they have to take in order for you to sell your book. You can't sell your book to anyone unless they click on your book first, which is why the book cover is one of the most important things that you can do when it comes to Amazon KDP. Some people say I'm insane that I spend $300 for a book cover. Sometimes I even make it myself, but if I'm not gonna make it, I'm gonna spend $300 on a book cover. Now, I don't think that's insane because if I don't have this, then everything else doesn't make any sense. I won't even have the opportunity to sell my book. So me spending $300 in my mind, it's like, okay, I don't have to worry about the clicks anymore because I know my book cover is high quality. So I don't even have to worry about the clicks. I know that they're gonna click on my cover, especially if I know the customer and I tell the designer everything I know about that customer. And then the designer creates a super high quality book cover for that customer. I don't have to worry about the clicks. So the clicks are sorted, which is why the second thing you have to do is concentrate on your interior. The interior of your book is literally the product. It's the most important part of your product. Forget about the ad strategies and the research and all of that. You need to focus on creating the highest quality product you can because your interior is gonna lead to your reviews. Now you need to get positive reviews because this alone is gonna do 80% of the selling for you. But even if the writing in your book is super high quality, if you don't format this correctly, then your interior is not gonna be high quality. One of the first books I made on KDP, I wrote it myself. It took me six months because I couldn't afford a ghostwriter. I wasn't a very good writer, but worst of all, I didn't even know that formatting existed. So I downloaded the Word template. I just copy and pasted my text on there and then I put it on KDP and I started making some sales, but I couldn't afford to buy my book off Amazon. It takes Amazon 60 days to give you your money and I didn't have any money. 
by the second month, I already made 50 or 100 sales, some of that. I can't remember the numbers. But for me, I was like, this book is performing amazingly well. And I ordered the book, Amazon package came, I opened it, and the formatting was horrible. When I mean horrible, I mean the text boxes would bleed off the edge. Like half the words would get cut off. I don't know how it passed the Amazon thing, but I got my book and it was all over the place. The images weren't even correct. And uh, I, I sold that to people because I understood the marketing. I understood my customer, but the quality wasn't there. So eventually I started getting negative reviews and the book fell down. But then I did, cause I, I learned about formatting that way. As soon as I learned the formatting, I put it in the book and then it continued to sell. So formatting is so, so important. So that's how you create a quality product. It's just your book cover and your interior. Now, once you've created that quality product you have something that people want to buy so enough people want to buy and people actually want to buy because you created a product that they want now there's one final step that will help you go from $100 book to $1,000 book per month. And that's your marketing. What do I mean by your marketing? Well, this is super simple. It's split into two. You have two types of marketing. The first type of marketing is your value-based marketing. What's your value-based marketing? This is your A-plus content. Now, why is your A-plus content so important? It's not the A-plus content that's important. It's the words and images that's inside your A-plus content that's really important. Because the type of words you use, you can convey value. And if you can convey value using words, you can increase the perceived value of your book in your customer's head. So if they're thinking, oh, okay, this book, wow, it solves all my problems. It looks amazing. Surely this book is like $25, $30, right? But then they see your price, $16.99, and they're like, I'm going to buy it straight away. Because you increase the value of your book using the words in your A-plus content. Now, you can also have images in your A-plus content. And you can use these images to show the transformation that your book is going to give your customer with your A plus content. So if you're selling a dating book for men, one of the images in your A plus content can be a guy with like seven Russian women around him. I don't know why they're Russian, but Russian women are beautiful. So that's showing the person the transformation, what's going to happen in their life after they read this book. And you can use images to do that with your A plus content. That's your value based marketing. That's to increase the perceived value of your book. Now, the second type of marketing is your 10x marketing. What's your 10x marketing. Well, we know that selling on Amazon KDP has the funnel. So these are your impressions. This means your book actually shows up on someone's screen. Then some of these people that you show up for, they're going to convert into clicks. Now we know they're going to convert into clicks. Why? Because we have a quality book cover. We created a book or a book cover that people want to click. So we know that we're going to collect some of these clicks. And then once they click on our book, they can make the decision whether they want to buy or not. So the final one is if they're going to buy. And how do we make sure that after the click, they're going to buy with our value based marketing? Because we increase the perceived value of our book. So then it's very easy for us to convert these clicks into a sale. And then once they see that it's a quality book, especially after they read it, they're going to leave a review, which is going to just snowball the whole thing again. So we know that this funnel works because of all the things we implemented onto our listing. Now, the most important part is to increase this. If we can 10x this, we can also 10x this and 10x this because everything you change on this funnel applies for everything because anything you increase in this funnel or anything you decrease in this funnel is going to show in your sales. What do I mean by this? Well, it's super simple. If you normally get 100 impressions, 10% click through rate will give you 10 clicks because 10% of 100 is 10 and then 10% conversion rate will give you one. So for every 100 impressions, you get one sale. Now, if you get a thousand impressions at a 10% click through rate, you get a hundred clicks and at a 10% conversion rate, you get 10 sales. So the more you increase this, the more these increase. If you add a zero here, then you must add a zero here because every time you go down, 10% of the people that see it will click on it. And then 10% of the people that click on it are going to buy. It. So if you can just 10x this, you 10x the whole book. So the best way to 10x is to run Amazon ads because you can pay to show up exactly where you want to show up, which is so powerful. Because if I'm selling a pregnancy book, I can tell Amazon, Amazon, I will give you a little bit of money for every click for pregnancy book that you give me. And you only pay for the click. You don't even have to pay for the impression. So if you show up somewhere irrelevant and people are not interested in your book, 
they're probably not even going to click on your book. So you're not going to have to pay for it. But you can pay to show up in relevant places in front of the people that are searching for your book. And because your book is quality, you know it's going to sell. So you can just pay to show up in front of more people. And now you know that you have enough people wanting to buy. You created something that they actually want to buy. You increase the value of your book with your A plus content and you're showing it to so many people. If you can do these three steps, then it's going to be the fastest way to get from $100 to $1,000 a month. But all three of these apply. But anyway, I hope you found this video valuable. If you did, a playlist just popped up somewhere here on the whiteboard. If you click on that playlist, I put a bunch of KDP videos in that playlist. They're going to help you make a bunch of money on KDP.